Steve Kutcher. I'm an entomologist and I play with bugs. I really have two talents that, that doesn't show, they don't show up in the SAT and tests and those talents are problem solving and creativity. Mm -hmm. You give me something, I'm really good at creating stuff and I'm really good at solving problems. And I've made a living, the house I live in was paid for by cockroaches and flies and, um, and a little bit of my creativity. I work with live arthropods and one of the ones I work with a lot, I've worked on Spider-Man and Arachnophobia. I was in charge of those spiders for Arachnophobia. <laughs> is working with tarantulas. Now, I actually didn't work with tarantulas on Spider-Man, which wouldn't make sense, but I want to show you one of them. This is a Chilean rosehair tarantula. To make it go, you tap its back legs, this is go. To make it stop, you just cover its eyes. They're, um, they live to be about 25, 20 to 25 years, the females do. And I can make it just stay on my shoulder. Rosie will just stay here um, because she's my pal. <clears throat> what I've added to the film industry that didn't exist before, in fact, I think Steven Spielberg said I was the first entomologist in the film industry was that I brought, the I brought the science of insect behavior to the film industry, and it hadn't existed before then. Before then, there were animal trainers, dog, they do dogs and cats and chickens, and if they needed a tarantula or a grasshopper, they would do that. But they really didn't understand how to manipulate them the way that I do. And I don't train insects. <clears throat> I understand their behavior and I modify their behavior, whether I modify it with light or heat or wind or textures or substrate. And so sometimes, for example, if you want a fly to fly to the window, you just light the window and the fly flies to the window. Uh, these are some examples of bug art that I've done. This is a print of a piece. The way I do this is I take an insect and I put paint on its feet and then I have it walk on wet paper creating footprints, but I do it in an artistic way. So in this case, the darkling beetle was walking in this direction and it always walked in that direction. It was orienting towards the light and then I would tilt the paper like this to make this fan effect. Of course, it was horizontal, it wasn't vertical, but you can still see all the footprints and you can see how the footprints are amplified. After I became an entomologist, I realized I lived in a world where a lot of people didn't like insects and insects are so important for the world. They're food for many animals, pollination, disease, carrying disease, and I saw job opportunities. But I didn't know I would go in the direction that I went in. So I took entomology to the level of art, education, and science and I combine those and all and so I've been able to use my passion about insects and nature to make a living and I saw the work potential and I've now I've worked on over 80 feature films unfortunately uh, now things have gone digitally so I could be in front of a green screen and there could be no spider on my shoulder and they could place a spider there but there are two problems with that. The spider that they would put there wouldn't look as good. And secondly, there's a big problem with actors interacting with something that isn't there. Okay, I want you to turn the camera off because I'm gonna tell you one of my secrets. In arachnophobia, they wanted me to have a spider walk to a slipper from four feet away. I didn't know how to do that. They said, we're gonna put the slipper on the floor. The spider's gonna walk to it. And, I, and I, it took me two weeks to figure it out. So how did I do it? I built a fence so that when I put the, when I put the insect or the spider down, it couldn't go anywhere because there was a fence there. But then the question is, how did I make the fence disappear? So I made my fence out of a little wire thinner than your hair. And I put it on little cams on motors that vibrated them up and down. So I had this invisible wire fence that went right to the slipper and then I put my spider down and goes right to the slipper. 
that's how I'm that's how I make a living being creative and solving problems books are really important to an entomologist here's a book on the butterfly alphabet it has uh, the alphabet that's taken from different sections of wings of butterflies this is my master's thesis on milkweed bug aggregation and here's another book a field guide to household bugs that you might enjoy reading I've worked with lots of actors and lots of different situations. I worked with Priscilla Presley and Sigourney Weaver and Tobey Maguire and lots of directors. I was lucky enough to have Bill Cosby teach me comedy while Robin Williams was my audience. That was just a mind-blowing experience. I worked with Steve Irwin. I taught him how to handle tarantulas and scorpions. I gave Jane Goodall her first tarantula experience. And all this happened because I just love insects, and you can see that Rosie is still there. She'll stay there for four hours. I could walk around. People remind me, I forget, and people remind me I have a spider on my shoulder. If they want to be professionals in the film industry, there are two important things. One is to always have a good story, because that will carry it. And the, and the second one is to have passion about your work. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little visit to my uh, house and, and you know when you started this you had no idea what I was going to do with insects and now I can hardly wait till tomorrow to decide what my next adventure is going to be.